Hey team, Tristram here, and welcome to another episode of my NGIS journey. In the last episode, I explained what core supports were. In this episode, it's all about capital and capacity building supports. And capital supports are your big ticket items like this. A wheelchair, assistive technologies, um, that, yeah, yeah no, that's that it, that's it. That Did you like my blue steel? Something else included within capital support is specialist disability accommodation or known as SDA. What is this jargon? Quite simply, uh, it includes home modifications, bricks and mortar, uh, things that help renovate your home to make it more accessible. Capacity building supports are a little bit more complicated. So if you want to do more for yourself, capacity building uh, aims to assist you in building your skill set or functionality. So for example, uh, my capacity building funding um, has an allocation for occupational therapists. Um, so these OTs can come into my home and brainstorm ways in which I can become more independent in my home. So for instance, I struggle to press light switches. Um, OT can come in, brainstorm ways, big buttons, um, various other, other ways in which I can do that myself so that I don't have to rely on others. Um, I don't have to use night vision goggles, simple as that. So capacity building also has nine different sections within it. So your support needs will determine which sections you receive funding from. As part of my plan, I received funding under improved daily living and also support coordination. Uh, so for me, improved daily living was all about plan management and getting assistance managing my funds. And then obviously support coordination is all about getting assistance, coordinating my supports, accessing services, and all that. So if you have support coordination within your plan and you're finding it all a little bit too overwhelming, uh, rest assured that your support coordinator will work with you in unpacking everything, explaining everything, and working with you uh, to, as the name suggests, coordinate all your supports. However, if you don't have support coordination, rest assured that LACs are also there to perform a very similar role. Uh, so between support coordinators and LACs, you have the resources uh, to understand your plan in, in simple detail. Don't forget, there is always a friendly ear at Plan Partners. Uh, you can get in touch with them via their website, www.planpartners.com.au, uh, or give them a call. Uh, they're more than willing to help you out. To keep up to date with my journey, I search for Plan Partners on YouTube and subscribe, or head to their website for more. For more information on the NDIS and your journey, head to planpartners.com.au.